morning class. My name is Anomad John from Agric Department. You are welcome to FGC Digital Learning. Our topic today is Agricultural Extension. Objectives. One, state the meaning and importance of agricultural extension. Two, describe various agricultural extension programs in Nigeria. Three, state some methods of disseminating information to the farmers. Four, list problems faced by agricultural extension agents in Nigeria. We now look at the first objective, which is the meaning and importance of agriculture. Agricultural extension is the aspect of agriculture that deals with training and educating farmers on the use of improved inputs and adopting or adoption of modern techniques and practice for his benefits. Step two, importance of agricultural extension. One, to create awareness about innovation in farming. Of course, going by our definition, we are trying to teach the rural farmers on the new methods of farming. Number two of importance of agricultural extension is to teach farmers to adopt innovation. Here, you try to convince the farmers about the new innovation so that they can practice it. Number three, to transmit research results from research institute to farmers. For example, here in my hand is a maize plant. It's already infested by armyworm. So what we are to do here as an extension officer is to take this to the research institute for them to prove a solution to this army worm or this disease. Number four, to send from a, number five, I mean to say, <clears throat> number five, to maximize the utilization of agricultural produce. Six, to Six, developing the potentials of the people and their leadership uh, skills. Next is agricultural extension programs. These are programs set up by the government to handle specific agricultural projects. For example, farm settlement scheme, agricultural development program, River Basin and Rural Development Authority, Operation Feed the Nation, and Green Revolution. The next is Young Farmers Club. We now move on to methods of disseminating information to farmers. Number one is mass media. Of course, this includes television, radio, printed materials such as leaflets, circular letters, and posters. Besides what we have mentioned above, other forms are motion pictures, bulletin, photography, and wall charts. Second method 
or another method of disseminating information to farmers is individual methods. This involves direct contact between the farmers and the extension officer. Here, of course, is one-on-one -on -one approach between the farmer and the extension officer. Of course, the farmer should be able to speak the language you, the extension officer, should understand. And the extension officer should as well try to understand what the farmer is talking about in this type of uh, method. The next on the agricultural extension topic is problems faced by agricultural extension agents. Number one, language problem. Of course, the extension officer may not be able to speak the language that the farmers already have. So it's a problem. Two, not having enough vehicle and motorable roads. Sometimes the extension officers may find it difficult to assess the farmers because of lack of vehicles. And sometimes even the road that leads to where these farmers are are terribly bad. Number three, very few extension workers are available in the system. It's equally a problem. Four, low level of literacy among farmers. Honestly, most of the farmers are literate, are illiterate. They find it difficult to communicate with the extension agent or the officer. Number five, four facilities for extension communication. Six, inadequate transport facilities. Seven, poor monitoring of activities of extension agents. Students, of course, I cannot do it alone. You have to do a bit to make the work a smooth one. So here on the board is an assignment for you. List six possible solutions to agricultural extension. And this assignment is to be submitted on the email address on the board, fgcphcdgclass at gmail.com. Thank you.